Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard, and my first guest today is Susan Block, who is the owner of the Designing Block, which is a store that's been in the Clayton Row of shops since 1996. 96. That's yes. quite a long time for a small business. It is. In Louis, yes. It's awesome. It's been great. So, you know? the Designing Blocks, so you guys are kind of a fixture right there. Well, we shops. hope we're a fixture. You are a fixture. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a fun, it's fun to have be in a small retail, even though it's a little harder these days than it, it used to be. You've seen a lot of trends in oh, definitely. the economy. And when we first opened, there were 11 shops along there, and it's kind of shrunk down a little bit. So how many shops are left? Three. Three. So you're one of the One of the last Bastillions of yeah, but Clayton Row. Yeah, great. Rowe. But so it's what, been fun. what do you, okay, let's, I, there's so many things I want to talk to you about, but um, first let's talk about what inspired you to start a business in 1996, a design business? Well, I had been doing interior design sort of out of my home, and then I shared an office space with someone, and then I decided one day my, <laughs> someone else wanted to rent a space, and they wanted me to look at the space with them, and so I went with them. They decided it was too expensive, and somehow it came to me, I, as we walked down the row, maybe I should buy that building maybe I'll open a store so my husband was out of town and I called him or he called that night way before cell phones right called and I said guess what I think I want to buy this building and open a store and he goes where'd you get that harebrained idea <laughs> I said this afternoon so he goes let's talk about that when I get home but anyway in I the meantime, did though the wheels were in motion you were I, ready the, I, the decision I, did. I just did it it was yeah. the seat of the pants sort of a idea but sometimes and I followed best, it up yeah. and I mean that was in March, and I opened in June. So I just kind of did it, and I figured it either so, works or it doesn't work. And you already had an established um, design business, business. A design business. So you had clients that you knew would come right. to the store. And it, there were so many times I was frustrated not being able to find things locally. You know, a, you know, fun lamp or some great pillows or some furniture that you couldn't always find. So I decided. Why not open my own store and sell it? So what kinds of things are, have you sold at the store? I know it's kind of changed over time. It's morphed over, you know, you start out one way and you kind of morph in different yeah. directions. So talk about those changes and what um, you're kind of focusing on now. You know, I love accessories. I love jewelry. Mm -hmm. I love purses. I love scarves. I love all sorts of things. So not only do we sell lots of accessories for your home, furniture, we do lots of special orders on couches, chairs, tables, whatever. But then we also, I have lots of um, silver jewelry and fun statement jewelry. So household items and accessory, fashion accessories. Right. Not it's always, clothing. No. Well, I have a little bit of clothing. Okay. You know, because I always say accessories for you and your home. Because it's, when you're a small business, sometimes you have to get them in more ways than one. And here's some pictures right now from the store. Yeah, so we have some, um, I carry a lot of different lines, like that's a Vanguard leather chair. It is so comfortable. And then we have things from Somerset Bay, all sorts of lamp companies. I sell so many readers. I bought readers originally because every when I first opened, everyone was coming into the store and saying, oh, I forgot my readers, I can't see this. So I thought, I was at Market one time, I thought, oh, I'll just try and buy a few readers. Or first I bought some Walgreens ones, and yeah. then I went to Market, bought some. It's one of my largest selling things at the store because they're cute. Yeah. They're much cuter than some of the I, I actually, <laughs> I'm gonna be in the market for those, so I'm coming by. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> we have all different ones, all different prices. Some yeah. are great looking frames yeah. that you can even have your regular prescription put in. Yeah. So yeah. it's, it's been fun. I mean, sometimes you don't know what you're going to sell until you try it, and it just like booms. Years ago, I had these blinking light-up feather boas, and I just bought them for myself. I wore one to a party, and I said, where'd you get that? May I buy some? Next thing you know, I sold over 800 of them. I you're was kidding. calling this company. I don't care what color. Just send me, send me, send me. And wow. one day, this gentleman walked in my shop, and he said, this is so not my customer. And I said, excuse me? And he said, you buy all those boas from my company, but this is not the type of store that I would have thought. Oh, funny. So sometimes you find yeah. those fun little whimsical things to add laughter to your life. Yeah. And 
on that note, we're going to talk about something that um, Susan has uh, in her store. It's a special surprise, and it's whimsical, and it's fun, and it's helpful. So we're going to um, come back to that in just a minute. We have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere because we'll have more with Susan when we return. And remember to keep up with STL TV and all the great events going on around St. Louis. Friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can always watch us on STL TV. Keep it locked on STL TV. We'll be right back with more STL TV Live in just a moment. Thank you.